In December 2020, the archaeologist and Sechin culture scholar, Dr. Peter R. Fuchs of the Free University of Berlin, and Jorge Sanchez, a member of the Editorial Fund for the Promotion of Science, Culture, and Education, managed to record for the first time in a night photo shoot details never before captured from the engravings of the warriors of the Great Wall of the Temple of Sichin in Peru. This is the Temple of the Warriors of Sichin one of the most important architectural complexes of ancient Peru. The enclosure, which extends for five hectares, was discovered by Peruvian archaeologist Julio C. Tello in 1937 and is located in the village of Casma in the Ancas region, eight hours by road from the capital of Peru. Sculpted 4,000 years before the present, the steeds of Sechin constitute not only the artistic stonework the most enigmatic, monumental, and ancient of its time throughout America, but also the beginning of sculptural art as such throughout the continent. Many of them, engraved in stone blocks of half a ton, were erected 1,000 years before Chavín de Huantar was built, considered until then the matrix of pre-Columbian cultures in Peru. The volume of each of them is approximately one-third the width of each sculpture, reaching to measure some of them up to four meters high such as the one shown in this scene. All the characters have a particular iconographic stylistic seal presented in profile representing, according to Dr. Fuchs, priests or dignitaries of an elite of the region. They wear loincloths, trapezoidal helmets with three engraved squares, from whose heads emerge what appears to be hair divided into three wedges. The face of all of them is crossed by a stripe that induces you to think of a facial marking or a fastener for the helmet that they carry. By the position of the legs, they walk upright, holding in their hands a kind of L-shaped weapon or command scepter that carries an indented diagonal stripe with two or three boxes. The piece at the bottom has a circular finish with four boxes. There are 20 dignitaries present on the four-meter-high wall surrounding the entire block of the Temple of Sechin, composed in total of 324 monoliths that are interspersed with stone engravings representing sectional parts of the anatomy of the human body, such as heads, limbs, internal organs, such as the stomach or heart, pictured with a marked realism, demonstrating in this way not only knowledge of organic morphology, but also a spectacular expertise in the art of stone cutting. Sechin's lithic iconography has no records of violent contact between character images. Sectioned bodies and organs that directly induces the recreation of a sacrificial rite, as does the moche iconography. In what seems as a great processional march, the warriors depart from the south of the enclosure, from a portal guarded by two warriors. And then, divided into two groups of ten, one to the east and one to the west, which respectively circulate through four streets of 51 meters in length, and then enter through the north portico of the building, where they are greeted by two rows of stairs that direct them to the ceremonial center. In front of them appear these banners located on the entrance porch of the north façade where the characters make their entrance. What drove the Sechin to build a place like this? Was it a place of sacrifices, as many archaeologists claim, or was it just a ceremonial center that symbolically recreates a sacrificial ritual? For Dr. Peter R. Fuchs, Renate Pachke, and Jesus Priseño Rosario, research archaeologists on Sechin culture, the meaning of the engravings would correspond to transmit certain aspects of cultural memory by trying to establish a ritual and canonize it through stone art, a recurring ritual led by walking dignitaries who appear to be representative of the region's elite. In this way, it can be said that the motives of the walls of Cerro Sechin 
include the earliest self-portrait of a dominant elite in the central Andes to transmit certain aspects of cultural memory. It's about establishing a ritual and canonizing it through lithic art. The Great Temple of Sichin was a sacred space that had a long constructive sequence which began the second millennium of BC until it was buried in 1500 BC. There it remained until its discovery in 1937 by the Peruvian archaeologist Julio C. Tello. 